Hey everyone, um, I'm going to create a video tutorial for your Viz Architecture project. So, um, this is the image I'm using of the object that I'm going to turn into the building. You want to use the Remove Image Background website in order to do that. Okay, so you're going to choose your different items such as doors, roofs, um, and windows, and you want to remove the background. Okay, so most of the time it'll remove all the background around the object, um, but I'm going to show you what happens when it doesn't remove all the background. So you can see for this roof, I need to erase the rest of that land back there. So I'm going to hit edit, and then erase, and you can adjust your brush size for the eraser tool, and then you just go around and erase as best you can that extra space. So once you're done, you can hit download, download image, it'll save the image for you and then you can use that in your project. Okay, so for the sake of time, um, I already have my images uh, with the background removed, so I'm going to start adding those in. Um, so to add in an image for this layer to be used, you don't go to File, New Image, because then it'll just create more images and it won't be on the same layer. So instead you're gonna go here to the Add button in the layer column and you select add plus image and you select your images that have the um, background removed okay so I believe I have one Thanks. Okay, so now we have the image um, with all of the different items. So I had windows, so the way that you can arrange your windows the way you would like, um, you just select that layer that the window is on. You can hit duplicate layer. And then using the cursor tool, you can move that second layer around to add your windows, okay? So for the roof, in order to blend this in, I used the eraser tool. Um, I set the opacity at 20. You only want to do 10 to 20 percent, um, and you can walk. You can go around, and it it helps blur the edges together to make it look like it's a part of the image. Um, now you want to make sure that that layer is selected that you're working on. Um, if you don't have that selected, then you won't see any changes happening, okay? So you wanna really focus on getting the line of the image to disappear because it it helps with the illusion of it to get that line of the photo to disappear, okay? So you can kind of play with how much you wanna take away from what you wanna to add to All right, so for class this week, I ask that you have your doors and your windows um, and your roof attached to your object, okay? Um, we're gonna go over next week how to make them look more like they are within and, and uh, attached to the object, okay? So you can use the eraser tool to blend that the edges in um, and then stop there. Okay. So I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing your progress. Thanks.